The first word in the vocabulary section is natural gas. Natural gas is a gas which is burned for energy. Natural gas is an interesting word. I mean, we, we know what gas is. Gas is what you put in your car, right, to make your car run. But what's natural gas? Isn't all gas natural? No, it's not because the gas that you put in your car really isn't natural. It is uh, taken from oil, run through a factory that produces gas that you put in your car. However, deep underground, there are pockets of gas. And when we talk about gas, I'm not talking about the liquid gas that you put in your car. I'm talking about uh, a gas like air. It's, it's like air. And it's trapped underground and it burns because of the, uh, the chemical composition. It can burn very quickly. In fact, it's kind of dangerous because it can explode. And you might, uh, you probably have natural gas in your home. When you turn on your stove, right, you can smell Actually, that smell is added to it, but you can smell the gas coming from your stove and then you click on it and then it, it makes a flame and your mom or your dad cooks food on the stove. Don't play with your stove, of course. I don't mean to encourage that, but that's an example of natural gas in your home. And sometimes we have to be careful about that because it can be dangerous. So don't play with that, but that's an example of natural gas and it burns very easily. Okay. Next is the stove. I just uh, explained uh, about natural gas. You see the fire here? It's a blue flame. That, what's burning? That is the natural gas I was just talking about. And of course, it's on your stove. Stove is a device that makes heat for cooking. Now, many stoves are natural gas stoves. You could also have electric stoves that just use an electric uh, coil to make heat, but most stoves will use natural gas. My wife likes to cook with natural gas. She likes it better than electric, but and it, it's it's quicker, and it's uh, it's much more efficient. But uh, yeah, many many homes will have natural gas stoves for cooking. It's a very easy way to cook something in your kitchen. Light bulb. Light bulb is a different type of device. Of course, it doesn't use natural gas. It uses electricity to make light. And it also makes heat, right? So be careful. If the light bulb has been on for a while, don't touch it. It's hot. Of course, new modern light bulbs stay cool, but uh, the older light bulbs, they get hot. So they make light. They can also make heat, but that is a light bulb. By the way, bulb is what you call this, especially this shape, right? That is a bulb. And of course, because it makes light, it is a light bulb. Next, we have conductor. Conductor, now you could use conductor means different things for different situations. If you go to see a concert, you see a man or a woman standing in front of all the people playing their instruments and they're waving their hands like this. That is a conductor. That's a different kind of conductor. The conductor here is a substance, a material that allows electricity or heat to travel through it easily. So if you look at these, what's the picture of? The picture is, is of a bunch of pots and pans, right? Those are pans. Pans are shallow. They're on the bottom. The pots are deep. They're on the top. So pots and pans, they're made out of metal. Why? Because metal uh, is a substance that allows electricity or heat, in this case heat, to travel through it quickly. So if you put a metal pot onto your stove, the heat from the natural gas will pass through the metal to the food and it will cook quickly. If you used a different material other than metal, uh, the heat maybe wouldn't pass through and your food would stay cold or the material would burn, <laughs> depending on the material, right? But metal is a good conductor. It allows heat and electricity to pass through it very easily. Copper is a good conductor of electricity. So in the wires in your home, they're made of copper. We talked about this in a previous lesson because electricity can pass through copper very easily. 
Okay, so、uh, a substance that allows heat or electricity to pass through it is a conductor. Okay, and like I said, you can talk about different conductors, like、uh, the person in front of a, a band or the person who drives a train.、Uh, they're a conductor.、Uh, person who checks your tickets on the train. But in this case, we're talking about a substance that allows heat or electricity to pass through it quickly. That is a conductor. Next, we have friction. We talked about friction in a previous lesson、uh, when we were talking about uh, forces uh, moving across different types of surfaces. Of course, friction is the force that occurs when you rub one object against another. And when you have friction, right, you're losing energy. But actually, when you lose energy, that the energy is getting transferred from one. Object to another, and when that energy gets transferred, what happens? Rub your hands together. What do you feel? You feel, oh, it's getting hot, right? So that elect that energy is being transferred between your hands. You're you're actually creating some energy there because of the friction, and you're heating up your hands. And that's why when it's cold outside, right? And if, especially if somebody doesn't have any gloves on, they'll rub their hands together to make them warm. Okay, so of course wear gloves if it's a cold day. But if you don't, you can rub your hands together to make them warm. Next, we have ice cube. <laughs> This is the let's say like the opposite of rubbing your hands together is holding a bunch of ice in your hands. Now, ice cube is a small block. Of ice, a cube is like、uh, a little box, right?、Um, I'm not a very good artist, but let me draw very quickly. This is a, oops, see, I'm not a very good artist.、Um, that's a cube, right? And of course, when you make ice, you usually pour water into a, a plat piece of plastic or metal that makes the water freeze in these small shapes. We call those ice cubes, so that you can easily put them into your drink, so you can have nice cold iced tea, for example, or just ice water. You put it into a drink to make it cold because iced tea. Is not very good when it's warm. I mean, that's that's a different kind of tea. That's warm tea. That's not iced tea. So if you want to enjoy cold iced tea or lemonade or just water on a hot summer day, put some ice in it. It makes it cold and it's very refreshing. That's an ice cube. But don't hold ice like that when it's winter or cold outside. That's not a good idea. <laughs> okay, in the summertime, not in the winter. Okay, so those are our words for the vocabulary section. Lesson fourteen. Sources of heat. Natural gas. A gas which is burned for energy. Stove. A device that makes heat for cooking. Light bulb. A device that uses electricity. To make light, conductor, a substance that allows electricity or heat to travel through it easily. Friction, a force that occurs when one object rubs against another. Ice cube, a small block of ice you put into a drink to make it cold.